The movie that we chose was Freedom Riders. In this movie, Hilary Swank plays the role of a new and excited teacher, Aaron Gruhl. Mrs. Gruhl got a job at Woodrow Wilson High School, which used to be a highly renowned school before she took the job. Now it's a hostile environment full of troubled students, gangs, and violence. Throughout the movie, Aaron Gruhl becomes much more than a teacher to her students. She helps them deal with their troubled lives outside of the school. In this presentation, cliques, educational achievement, relationships with parents, and the influence of neighborhood conditions will be talked about because we felt that these could be greatly tied into the movie. Cliques are made up of people who are the same race, same age, and same socioeconomic background. In these cliques, adolescents interact and form friendships. In the movie, there are different cliques such as the Latinos, African Americans, Asians, and Caucasians. At Woodrow Wilson High School, these groups are defined who students hang around with, creating little diversity. Relationships and friendships were also based on who the students hung around with. In the next slide, there are pictures that represent the different cliques at Woodrow Wilson High School. Teachers, parents, and friends can all be positive factors for an adolescent's educational achievement, but they can serve as negative factors as well. For example, if teachers are not giving proper instruction to an adolescent, if an adolescent is lacking positive parental guidance at home, or if an adolescent is choosing friends that display negative behaviors, all of these can neg negatively affect an adolescent's educational achievement. The movie Freedom Writers demonstrated this by showing that the students in Miss Gruel's class were influenced by gangs. And you could see this in their behavior, uh, such as fighting, arguments, just lash outs of anger in class. Also, it was shown that a lot of the students in the class did not have very good relationships at home. Finally, the school administration limited the books and supplies that Miss Gruel could get for her class. What this picture is showing is Miss Gruel trying to get books for her classroom but is being turned down by one of her supervisors because of the negative stereotypes that she has about Mrs. Gruel's class. There are two different types of family, uh, relationships with parents. The first type is parental responsiveness and this is the degree in which parents um, are accepting and supportive and the second kind are parental demanding and this is when parents are more aggressive and have expect uh, more demanding behaviors from the child and in the movie an example would be when um, a father came in and was pretty much verbally physically and emotionally um, abused uh, his child In the movie Freedom Riders, the neighborhood conditions greatly influence how the students act in and out of school. The main point is that these low-income families tend to live in low-income neighborhoods. Most of the time, these neighborhoods have an abundance of crime and a slightly lower chance of succeeding academically. In some cases, one may believe or assume that these students have a tougher route to success. Academically, schools in low-income areas are typically underfunded and underprivileged. Disciplinary issues and poorly equipped teachers are just a few of the issues that arise from this. Now you will see the actual pictures from the movie that support and show evidence of these low-income neighborhoods and how it affects these kids. 